Dozens of tow truck drivers and first responders filled the parking lot at Eskenazi Hospital this evening to show support for a driver shot one week ago. Matt Roberts was responding to a call last Friday morning when troopers say he was shot by the man that he was trying to help. He is expected to recover and as WRTV's Caleb Molander shows us, the community is going to be there every step of the way. <laughs> Michigan Street is a sea of lights in front of Eskenazi Medical Center Friday night. Dozens of tow truck drivers and first responders are pouring into the parking lot to show support for one of their own. That's very well loved. So honestly, I can't wait till he gets to the window of his room tonight to see all those lights shining down to show that we love him and not only his little garage family, but the entire community and uh, other towers are all behind him and waiting for him to get recovered. Matt Roberts is recovering at Eskenazi after being shot on the morning of March 25th. State troopers say Roberts was in his tow truck on I-70 when he was shot by the man he was trying to help. It's such a big community. We, we, we stick together, you know, we help each other out. We stick together and we've got to because in our job and our line of work, it is very, very dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of drivers that get hit. Chuck McGinnis organized a parade of trucks to fill the parking lot outside Robert's window. The group held signs, <laughs> honked horns, and gave thanks. The suspect is behind bars and Roberts is expected to recover, and his community will be there every step of the way. He hasn't been into the business that long, but it don't matter if you're in here one day, you're family with us now. We're going to help you out no matter what. We stick together. So. We, we, we've got to. One way or the other, we've got to stick together. Working for you, Kayla Molander, WRTV. Indiana State Police has not released any more details about the shooting or why the suspect fired at Roberts. But as we learn more, we will keep you updated on air and online at WRTV.com.